Namaste, soul family, sky goddess. Um, I just want to um, continue that reading. I was having a little uh, trouble with my connection. It's now 20.20 20 p.m. Look at that. I don't have to say p.m. Once I say 20.20, y'all know it's p.m. That's army time. Okay, 24 hours format. Okay, so... I pulled the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Swords. So, um, something you did, okay, while the moon was in Gemini will manifest when the moon is in, when it moves into the frequency of Leo. The moon is currently transiting, um, the frequency of Cancer, its own motherfucking frequency, how about that? Okay, and so once it moves out of its own frequency, it is which is cancer into that Leo frequency, okay, of the sun, you know, something's gonna manifest. So if you uh, know alchemy, spell writing, okay, this is a spell manifesting then, okay. I see, I'm not gonna call out all the, the, the cards that were pulled because it's like really fucking dark. 2022, okay. Okay, some soulmate shit going on. Or twin, well, soulmate, okay. A soul contract, a soul tie. Because I saw, you know, you know, in the energies where in which you met, you recently met someone. But there's a past life connection there. And that is why the connection feels so strong okay it's a a you know um it's it's it's, it's all got to do with you know um quantum entanglement you know you know people you come across places you places you you know ventured or traveled you know there becomes a form of spiritual energetic connection between you and them places and people and things and so you know it's like a familiar like spirit okay and so once you come in contact with you know spirit always orchestrates you know um or spirit families you know the, the, the them primordial beings they they are like watchers and they ensure that you know um we always meet up again within you know each reincarnation because they're always continuation of you know life purposes for us to accomplish and so you know it's the things that um has a way of working themselves out and you find that you come across a particular person you're like damn why the fuck does it feel like i've known you for a long time that's because you've known each other for a long motherfucking time okay so i'm getting something like that you know someone is really obsessively fixed on someone here but it's because there's a soul tie, a soul contract, quantum entanglement. Okay, I see where both of you are going to reunite in the physical. Okay, so y'all could be communicating. But like, I see where someone is like stuck on a particular thing you said or texted to them. And it just has them feeling a way, you know, a beautiful kind of way okay it's like you are there you know there you know um knight of cups there you know and then nine of cups a dream come true okay because i did pull them frequencies okay and you, you there's the two of cups and the ace of cups okay so you are a, a dream come true for them i also got you know for those of us who have been you know experiencing problems with our you know phones social media people you know projecting negativity to our or stuff bear in mind that you know um um this month the frequencies this month all the way through the sagittarius season it's just like looking through a fucking mirror that's that nine of cups okay uh third deacon okay it's like you know looking through a mirror and that is seeing karma the energies you exude eventually comes back at you okay and so these people who have been projecting hatred you know tr you know troubles you know um lack um insecurities fears also even death also even you know trying to project mental derangement onto us all them energies are ricocheting this month and will be made obvious to everybody around them as well as someone is going to die in a car crash here 
this motherfucker ain't even gonna make it to the hospital. That's what I, I, I saw in the room. They're gonna die suddenly on the spot. Now, this is someone who's been fucking around with you. So, I tried, I, I recorded this twice. And, you know, someone's been fucking around my social media. They want me to acknowledge them. I'm not. Just some low life who, you know, has no fucking life. Alright? Who is, you know, soon about to motherfucking die. Okay? And I see something manifesting when the moon is in Leo. Okay? And, you know, this is this person's end. Someone is going to die when the moon is in Leo. Because it's going to be time for this prophecy. And previous prophecies... Uh, prophesying their end okay and you know um, they can bet their life on that their life that they're about to lose okay when people are walking their north nodes don't fuck around people okay that's you signed uh, that's you you know sign signing your your death contract contract you know you're, you know, you're saying okay it's time for me to motherfucking you know that's you saying okay you're ready to die when you fuck around um, people living out there in North Nose, it's not for you to say, oh, that's not what you were called to do. Find what you were called to do and don't fuck around people. Okay, that's some, you know, I'm not even going to call out aspects because I don't want people to feel a certain type of way. But these are people who are sick in their motherfucking heads. Saturn in Aries, 10,000 Aries. It's the fucking truth. Okay, y'all have some defect with your minds. And, you know, your friggin' brains, the head, ain't right, okay? And I'm just gonna leave that right there, guys. Namaste.